Hello everyone, welcome to episode 38 of Pokemon Prism. In the last episode, we went to Mount Ember, passing through the Ember Brook and everything we needed to do, uh, and caught ourselves Moltres. Look at him go. So awesome. In this episode, we're going to be heading through Seneca Caverns. Uh, let's see if there's any Seneca Falls. I think I already made that joke. Um, this is going to be our victory road. And we are pretty prepared for it. We don't have Lydia, but that's okay. There's no way a kid like you can handle me. We'll see about that, burglar Tucker. Uh, like how Tucker Carlson burglared public democracy. That's so terrible. That is... Jesus. Jesus. I do like how you can... Ca oh. I do like that you can catch Moltres um, very close to the equivalent of Victory Road. I feel like that's a very fun um, thematic touch. I hate that I have to switch. I, I genuinely really hate that I have to switch. Jade should be doing better, and I don't think this is a sign that Jade is entirely fraught as a team member. You know, no reason to have him in the first... Didn't mean to use Calm Mind either. But hey, I'll take it. Gligar with Earthquake is crazy. I just want to point that out. I'm actually gonna... Bu <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm dead! Wait. Oh, I thought if you press select and then A, I, d I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I don't think I was thinking. Anyway. Next, we have Weezing. Gas Poison type. All we can do is go for another Psybeam. And we have two Calm Minds set up, so realistically, we'll be f we'll be good. We'll be good. Next we have Camera Upt, Fire Ground type. Super cute, super super cute. Moonblast wouldn't be very effective, because it's a fairy type move on a fire type Pokemon. And we get it. We get exactly what we needed. Beautiful. Calliope grows to level 54. And Burglar Tucker's defeated. Beaten at my own game. Is your game Pokemon Prism? Ah, fourth wall. Ah. Now I gotta walk all the way down to the Pokemon Center. So do I. Before I do that, though, we have a symbol of fascism using Rock Smash. Um. We got ourselves a PP up, okay. I actually was thinking about it after I was. <laughs> After I put Veronius in the party to be like, yeah, this is so cool, it's like, is, are we like, are we doing like a like, woke thing? I don't know. I don't know. Are we, are we doing the right thing by having what people are upholding as a symbol of fascistic violence on our team? I don't know. I kind of want I kind of want a different party member because I don't I don't like the implications. But Gunthat is too weak, which I guess is also something of a talking point in and of itself. Head down here. Push. You're joking. Veronese can hold a citrus berry. And we have leftovers. Let me think about who I want to put that on. We can also get some ore. I'm also going to put items back because I don't want to be at item limit consistently at all. I hate having an item limit in the first place though. It's so corny. Level 34 when we're level 50. I get if the Pokemon in Victory in their version of Victory Road is a l around level 45. You know, that fits with what we understand a typical Victory Road to look like. 34 is criminal, especially because I'm assuming the Elite Four is going to be around level 55. How are you supposed to level up? It's not like... There are some um, renewable trainer battles, some, you know, trainer battles you can do multiple times, but not that many, I don't think. Ninetales has good defenses, and right now I have um, it holding a Razor Fang, but... But, 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 but. Dean is the most defensive member of our team, and I think... Uh, even, 
even if that wasn't the case, is going to be the best user of leftovers. Hey buddy. Like, I'm sorry, level 34 is insane. Oh, it does get me to level 51 though, that's kind of what I was, I was hoping for. And it wants Destiny Bond, which is not what we're looking for. Nope. I'm using a repel. Yeep! I only have three max repels left. I hope that's enough. I love the color palette in this part of the game though. Maybe I'm a moron and this is just what um, the default color palette looks like, but anyway. Behold, your avian adversaries. You can be a bird trainer. Why do you have to be a nerd, Edgar? It'd be cool if he had um, like a Murkrow or Honchkrow and it was like a raven and he was like, Hark the raven. Oh, I don't know. Look at Kay shrug that off with nary a care in the world. We can see with Air Slash this is probably going to be especially offensive Pidgeot. I know a lot of people say, why isn't Ninetales Psychic type? Or even, why isn't Ninetales like Ghost type? Like it's like a soul kind of Pokemon kind of thing. But I feel like Ninetales especially, like it makes sense to just be a standard fire type. I know part of it's like having parody with like Arcanine and Rapidash, but also even just on its own, I feel like it makes a lot of sense to be that type. <laughs> I'm so disappointed right now. Dean, take care of it. Over 200 HP is insane. That is genuinely crazy. Why does it have Steel Wing? And it's defense, right? That's a consequence of Steel Wing you can have? I don't think I've used Steel Wing, like, genuinely since, like, I got a Skarmory in my playthrough of Pokemon Ruby. That actually might have been while I had a YouTube channel. I'll have to double check it to see if my, like, 11 year old me recording, like, terrible quality videos was doing that. Uh, I, I do at some point want to go back though to those old videos and show them off in some some form. We'll see. What bad luck. Once I heal them up, they'll be ready to take you down. Okay, I wouldn't be so sure, buddy. <laughs> My Pokemon are pretty strong. <laughs> Yours are pretty weak, so... <laughs> Wait, youngster. You're in an awful hurry, aren't you? Yeah, I am. It's the end of the game. I'm trying to get through, bro. Wilfred. These matchups are horrendous. If Kay was still alive to be able to take care of it in any capacity, any capacity, that would be amazing. But we're not so lucky. Out comes Dean. <laughs> Getting charmed by someone of the same gender, Dean? Oh my goodness. Right. No, right. Honestly, I'm happy for him. I'm proud of him. Yeah, for sure. Crazy game knowledge idea. Miss Thunderfang, the Sandstorm is going to get rid of Arcanine. Yup. We're at a level 55. That Dean is really showing up. Dean's really strong. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. That's another benefit of having leftovers is that we're going to be able to do more damage. Even if it goes for Flail, I think Jade is going to be okay. You are joking. Yeah, pick the quad effective move. Because that's what, like, any logical... That's logical for sure. <laughs> I'm like... I'm not even frustrated. I'm genuinely flabbergasted that it would go for that kind of move. That it just, like... Like, did I get predicted? I don't- I don't know. I guess I did know that I had Jade in the back, but whatever. Get hit. Oh, neutral effective signal beam? Really? But it's- so it's fire dark type. So bug and fairy are both neutral damage? Yes. But obviously Moonblast is gonna do more because same type attack bonus on top of just being a stronger move in the first place. Down goes Wilfred. Well, now I feel better. I didn't want you to get humiliated at the Rijon League. Since you beat me, you might have a chance to humiliate them. 
You guys are weirdo though. Like genuine like freak behavior. Calliope and Lydia are both level 54, but I want Lydia to get some experience in and with I think I think with our team composition being what it is, Lydia's gonna be able to make a huge dent. If we could just cross those trees, we wouldn't even have to deal with Seneca Falls. We're gonna be going all this way, making all this progress just for it to be like three little things. We also haven't actually, I'm, I'm thinking about it now, we haven't had a 2D section in a cave in like a while. In like a while while, so this could actually be the opportunity to have a little 2D victory road. This is a beautifully built tunnel. How beautiful. Hiker Javon. I'm sorry, but that is a freaky way to <laughs> announce your presence. This cave is just so beautiful. Mm. We'll start with Steel Eater. I think Giga Drain might be a bit. <laughs> what? That's insane. That Steel Eater. But Giga Drain does that much? No idea what's going on there. I, I don't even want to know. Actually, I genuinely do not even want to know. Down goes Steelix. <sighs> Sight for sore eyes. Hi, Rhydon. Goodbye, Rhydon. I fully expect Giga Drain to take it fully down. Yeah, there's, there's genuinely, there was like no way that it didn't. So, we become the level of the Rhydon before us. We're level 52, got 150. Oh. Golem might be tanky enough. Don't quote me on that, but I think it has a shot. Okay, no, okay, it hangs out with Stur yeah. I was fully expecting to get explosioned. Down goes Golem. Good work, Jade. That was a good battle for you. Oh wait, we were battling? Sorry, I got distracted. The walls are just so amazing. This guy's like that one Junji Ito comic. Caves are like houses but built by Pokemon and Mother Nature. Hmm. He said the divine femininity of this cave. A hole I'm exploring. No, never mind. Oh, I don't have any health. I don't, I don't have any healing items because I still... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I need to go and buy more lemonades. Or I guess I might as well just buy hyper potions at this point. Oh, I'm definitely going to need to with the Max Repel gone. No, I'm comfortable with this. I'm so ready for the league. Poke fan Kent. I hate Kent, dude. <laughs> the place and the person in Stardew Valley. Luckily, we go first on Vaporeon. That actually is surprising, because we both have decent speed stats, but... Look at that, almost full health. Acid armor, when I have special... Oh, that might be part... That is why Steel Eater did so little, because Steelix is so physically defensive. Duh. <laughs> Doi. Um, that's crazy. I don't know why it took until that for me to notice. I use Steelix. I know how physically defensive it can be. Guy, <laughs> guy who's used a Steelix in a playthrough. Guys, did you know that I've used a Steelix? I want to see if I can stay in first. That is an insane move to have. I know... <sighs> Actually, Pin Missile is a good move on Jolteon too, so I can't even... This might be trying to read a little too hard. I think it's going to go for Pin Missile again, so I can swap into Monroe. Boom. And it is going to- oh, it's going to be faster. I don't know why I didn't think about that. Yeah. Of course a Jolteon is going to be faster. It's a Jolteon. It's- duh. But the idea is if we had Vaporeon and we had Jolteon, Next, we have Flareon. I love how when Surf happens, it, ugh, the instruments get all quiet. Oh, so Flareon can have Flamethrower, but K can't. Yep, totally makes sense. And Kent was defeated. Maybe not. Maybe not. Uh, gotta train more. Yes, you do. I don't, though. Why, well, uh, that is the way I came. Or is it? I'm actually- how did I get disoriented in three seconds of being here? Oops. This cave is a geologist's dream! Scientist number 11? I thought we were done with you and your kind. Eww. 
I'm probably dead anyway. <laughs> Kadabra with signal beam. Kadabra with signal beam. Lydia, shadow ball this guy. Chat. <laughs> Mods. Okay. Got a beautiful looking soul rock. And a Lunatone. If someone has a soul rock, most of the time, and vice versa, it's like they're plus all in mine in, but they're also supposed to be people. So that's. Okay. Neutral day. Moonblast on a Lunatone! I don't know why I didn't think about that, but that is like the perfect move for it. That's like just. <laughs> that just makes sense. Lydia's level 55. Well. Uh, if I had one word to describe this cave, it would be fascinating. We get it, bro. You like rocks. And we have water all around us. We cannot surf on. We can head over here and grab two rare candies. Nice. Head down a little more. I can feel the repel like ticks ticking down and I'm gonna have to go back super soon and take care of that but that's fine got ourselves a max revive as well keep on walking to the left and we have <gasps> a ladder with TM10 hidden power I don't think we found someone who can check what hidden power we have yet but I would be very interested to check it. I do think, like, whatever we end up getting, I'm sure it's gonna be good. Um, for at least, like, one of our Pokémon. I just don't think it'll be strong enough to compare to the moves that we already have. Like, Hidden Power is great in a competitive environment where you're very aware of what, um... I mean, obviously, like, what the metagame looks like, but... I didn't expect to see you for a long time. Uh, <laughs> um, I'll be back. Oh, Botan City has nothing. I should have realized. Silly me. 50 lemonades. Oh, and it's nighttime. No repels. You are breaking my balls. That is crazy. I will take 15 of your max repels. So if you want to go um, back to the Seneca Caverns quickly, you could go to Echinia Dock, swim all the way over to the Naljo border, do it that way, or fly to Terenia City, hop on the old magnet train, and from Botan City, fly over. I need to heal. I can heal over there. I don't need to use the secret. Secret, secret. All you gotta do is click on Seneca Caverns. Or I guess press on Seneca, you're not clicking anything. And you are all good. On one hand, I feel like it might be around the same amount of time, but it's a lot less like annoying having to do the surfing through the route and you have less walking. One thing I wanted to talk about quickly, um, and I think we have the time right before uh, getting to the encounter that matters. Uh, this is probably going to be dated because I'm recording this like as it's happening, basically. But um, there was a huge, there was a massive Pokemon, um, it, they're calling it the Terra Leak. And I'm sure any, any YouTuber you care about has already covered it. Giving my take doesn't necessarily matter. Um... And even covering it in and of itself is kind of an action that people, like, will... <laughs> I, I hate to be like, we'll make a moral judgment about, which is bad, by the way. You know, people can make moral judgments about whatever they want. Um, <laughs> but there is some really, really cool cacturn art um, that was revealed with that, as well as some um, Miss Magus Rayquaza art that was recently revealed, which I think is super cool. Um, I think it was incredibly irresponsible 
of whoever leaked this stuff to not um, sanitize the data in any way before sharing it. A very, very irresponsible might be the right word, but um, it's, it's not, I don't know. There's a lot of moralizing going on about it. And with that, we have Articuno. Level 50, love Articuno. Articuno was always my favorite of the legendary birds growing up. Still is, I'm gonna be completely honest. Um, I get why people like Moltres and Zapdos, but when I see Articuno, it's just like, it's like, <laughs> this is, <laughs> This is about to be the most corny, nostalgic, whatever, but it's genuinely a little bit, it's just kind of like looking at an old friend. Like, I remember I had, um, an Articuno card I really liked. I liked it a lot. I had, um, I caught an Articuno in Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, and I was like, this is the most awesome Pokemon ever. Why aren't more people talking about this? Um, <laughs> but... But genuinely, I do. I do love Articuno's design. I love its concept. I love how it's executed. I think it's. I think it's interesting in battle. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna act like the switch from Gen One to Gen Two didn't hurt it. But listen to this music, also. Like this is properly dramatic for a legendary encounter. It's, it's, it's the right amount of, like, <laughs> I, I wouldn't describe this as, like, blood pumping. is oh my god, this is churning my blood. Um, but it is, like, it's high energy, it's, while still being grandiose, I think might be a good way to put it. At any rate, <laughs> Zapdos shouldn't be very far away, either, if we've gotten Moltres in the last episode, Articuno in this one. Anyway. Now's the part of the legendary encounter where it's low, but not too low, and you keep on throwing balls at it, and praying and hoping. <laughs> Every time! I'm like, alright, now it's the time to just start throwing the Pokeballs and praying. I just get it. That's awesome. K grows to level 54 and wants Dark Pulse. Ironically, Noise Pulse would be a better move for it than Dark Pulse or Zen Headbutt because it'd allow coverage against water types. Mm, I can definitely change my mind later. But I like Dark Pulse on K. I think that fits. I think that fits thematically, and I think that's quite cool. Articuno's data was added to the Pokedex. Legendary Bird Pokemon. As it flies through the sky, it cools the air, causing snow to fall. So cool. I also, I like, when I was a kid, I loved Winter so much. I thought it was magical. There goes Articuno, and we did good. We did good with that. If I was cheap, I could be like, we did a good job, guys. In the next episode, <laughs> we're going to finish Seneca Caverns. But I feel like we're pretty much to the end. Um, Maybe we're halfway through. But... <sighs> If you have a Pokemon that knows strength, having to do this every time is so monotonous. Now that we've gone on this entirely optional route, actually, there's nothing- Yeah, that entire- this ladder, everything about it, you can completely skip by. Go up here. Oh, you are kidding me. Is that who I think it is? I'll get Dean into the lead just in case it is. Great acoustics in here, huh? Oh. I thought that was Sandy, not guitarist Ozzy. Obviously named after Ozzy Osbourne, who you might know from being referenced in the Bowling for Soup song 1985. <laughs> I don't think he's done anything else. With <laughs> I actually feel bad having Dean out on this. Like, it's just, it's going to eviscerate. Manetric's faster. Okay. Genuinely surprised. Proud of that Manetric. Got a little Thunderbolt damage off before I'm going to heal it all right back. Having Dig as a move actually is especially kind of evil for being able to, um, being able to just heal off of leftovers, get the chip damage of Sandstorm. Like, Tyranitar makes so much sense with leftovers. 
Thunder Punch is a silly move to use on me. And we got a crit! And we got a natural crit! Nothing... Pfft. Awesome. Ouch! I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to do like a Van Halen. Nothing is ever gonna keep me from rocking! Good. Pursue your dreams. Uh, uh. I don't. I don't believe in pursuing your dreams. Anti dreams. Got another heart scale. I don't think we've found anything to use these heart scales for yet. I'm sure there's going to be something, but right now it's just like, I don't know. Do whatever you want with them. Flamethrower. Want to give me the TM for flamethrower? Flower? Lex wants to battle. AKA Lex Luther. AKA Gene Simmons. Um, bro. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Owned. Um. What is it? It was <laughs> smartphone. Dude, I. I hate to say this. I loved going on that site when I was younger. I love being like. This is epic. This is this is what's up. And and FML. Do you remember like um I think I don't remember if it was just called FML.com, but there was like a FML app that was just circulations of these things. And um and I would be on it so like genuinely just too much, just being like so these are uh, these are all of the mistakes that other people have made. I need to I need to log all of these in my brain so I don't do the same thing. Um, in like a weird like like it's not even like it's like a uh, Schadenfreude is like nothing like that. It's just like <laughs> it's it's like almost what people like. When people talk about um, like Christine, uh, Christine Weston. Hi, Typhlosion. <laughs> when people talk about um, Christine Weston Chandler and are like, yeah, the only reason why I even cared about any of like that, um, like, like the drama, not even drama, people making her into a lol cow and kind of ruining her life for tell lols. Um, it's like, a lot of people's morbid fascination with it is, is in this weird, like, well, I just want to know what not to do. I'm just taking notes, guys. And it's like, first of all, no, you're not. Um, <laughs> great. Now I need a burn heal. <laughs> that's the most. That's I make I make fun of that kind of writing, and it just it just did it. Some people think the east side of this cave contains the Rijon Lake. Very funny. <laughs> How could they possibly think something so preposterous? <laughs> what the, what's that voice? Oh my god. Guys, I'm losing it. Um. Oh, 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 oh. Danger! Look both ways and listen for oncoming trains. Danger! Look both ways and listen for oncoming trains. Route 67, Seneca Cave Front, pathway to the Rijon League. All right, don't get mad at me, but I think this is a good place to stop for this episode. In this episode, we got through all of Seneca Caverns and got ourselves something very awesome for it. That would of course be... What? Where is it? <laughs> the Arctic Legendary Articuno. In the next episode, we're gonna move on and see what else uh, Route 67 and the road to the Rijon League, see what it looks like. See you guys then.